And you just have to feel when is the pressure going to go. There we go. The toss finally lands and committed to the fight. Darian, we're going to make the middle of everybody. Destiny is up and a beautiful crescendo comes down. Where is the bullet time? Finally gets channeled. Instantly interrupted by so as everybody's gone low. Finally, the first two members of Fnatic drop. Triple kill for Gambit Gaming. Yeah, that was a disastrous start uh, for towards the inhibitor turret as well. We just saw one teleport back. There goes the arrow. Lands on Macla and immediately Darian follows him with Darker. Shockwave comes and he gets melted where he stands. Darian also jumps away from the turret damage that was coming out there. Genji uses that power tanks it up. Hemo played well, not really going to be enough. But is it going to be enough? No, as soon as he comes out, Alex is times it perfectly. You see Alex catching on towards White Knight. Everybody pops through. And support force was used, but obviously not to a great effect. Chain of Corruption, fantastically fine. And layered on with a crescendo. Absolute immaculate team fight there from Gambit. And they want to get up. Comes out from the Soaz, but he's gonna get launched in. The fans go down, and the rest of Gambit closing around them. 
And Reese is going to see if he can take down Alex Hicks, but they can't. And Fnatic are completely melted with a triple kill from Alex Hicks. That's going to be the ace of possibly the game. Gambit were in complete control of that team fight. They didn't even get that. They blew everything, but they couldn't find the blubber. They couldn't blow up the chunks. First one is going all the way in on the score. The boss can pop. Gets his multiple members. Bullet time only hitting Alex Inch. As the like Garrett is jumping. Command chopping goes off. But Gendra is still in tower range. He's going to want to slam up and kill. Mappa goes on a killing streak. The tower goes down. And the floodgates open for Gambit Gaming. Alex Inch picks up a kill on Thresh. Flash! Oh. Dead sentence connects with Ryu. Pulls down Inch. Edward's trying to get a double kill to the choir for Alex Inch. And now Gambit Gaming once again. It is a four for one in their favor. And they are taking the fight. You're going to get taken down. Here comes Simon. He's going to have the uh, gentleman as well on top of him. Who they get targeted? The sun died in top way. Who's going to manage to get a damage down? And look at that. Gambit is racking him out. He just in a pick up the triple kill. Please tell They can run straight down the mid. Or are they going to go power? Back three right there. Those three set out this path. It falls into safety. The hook comes in. He's done the they fight. He goes in, gets the pass down. Take the run to go down. There's only four members there right now. They have to try and get into position. SD again. There's not enough time. That is his number one. He manages to get two and just fly through the team. Face. They land the cocoon on Diamond. The chain of corruption does not land. And Gambit successfully back away. There's the crescendo. Went on towards Limit. Kuban also going to get away from that one. He tries to repel in there. Another flash shadow dash. Not working out for Makata. The rest of the team turning around. There's the crystal arrow. Lands on towards Limit. Darian comes in. Gets one reset. Jumps up towards Kuban as well. They're slowing them down. He can see the shot. He pulls it in. Darian gets the second. Jumps in for the third. Can he go down Makata? He's going to get to the fountain. He won't be able to finish that off. Hemo play comes out from Shari. He tries to pull the blue. Is it going to be enough damage? No, it's not. Alex Hitch is there. Cleans house. Mercat Mackler trying to back away. His brother comes back out to try and defend him. again. Genja has the defensive ball of Alex Hitch. And you can see Gambit take down the inhibitor. They're going to push on maybe on this one. They could close the game out here against Meet Your Makers. I have too much time left today. I see uh, that will time now. But we are going to see Diamond and Darian both dive straight into their ways. And Crescendo coming from. It's not quite off its cooldown. Bullet time when it comes. There is finally the Crescendo coming up. Double kill from his board. It's going to be a kill for Sona, secured by uh, Edward there. And look at that, it's a four for nothing. Four back again significantly. So they're going to have to go on a fight here relatively soon. And RNA delivering that bomb. Might be the engage. That's going to be Alex Hitch going in, but immediately the Zonders had to be used there. They do try and force them away. But the shockwave comes out. Alex Hitch is going to go down. Is it enough? The turret's still fighting. Can they get up to the diamond fight? David Proxy's taken very, very low. Ultimate can do it. The cocoon comes in, though. That's going to be the ball. Gadget, 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 turns around and smacks him in the face with an arrow. And that is going to be Genja taking down the turret. And alternate quickly turn the pace of the fight. It's 29 17. That was a two-fold as well. Kraton's trying his best to kite on towards him. And they're going to see oh him. Oh, gets the standing line. Dash on towards him. Shockwave back in there. Kraton goes down eventually, though. The Pharrell, he's got nothing left to do. He's all on cooldown. He's got no blue buff. He's going to get dropped down. Gambit going to clean up. Genja manages to pick up the kill. It's now Duran. He gets on towards Edward. Cyanide taking away like the triple kill. It could be one single fourth pass. Quadra kill comes out. Peke so low. Could we see the pentakill coming out from Alexic? He's going to pursue this one. Darren comes around, no, because Peggy! It's the items, and Gambit up until now have chained all their ultimates together perfectly. Here we go, so is actually going to go in there without really having vision. Here comes Alex Hitch, is he going to come from the backside? Yes, he is. He will destiny in there. What's it going to mean for them? First kill has already come down. Double killing will be in the end. Cyanide trying to escape. Flash finisher there, and a triple kill coming out for Darian. It was Genja who get that kill onto all that finisher. We see the ultimate being popped from Zora Zero, and look at Darian, he just goes in, no okay, cares, given, straight on towards the Shadow Dash, and in the Crescendo follows it straight on, Darian continues on, Cataclysm now on towards Zora Zero, Tabs has gone down, that's the second one down, Duke Duke gets picked up by Alex Hitch, they're on towards the final inhibitor turret, but they don't need it, they just turn straight towards the Nexus turret, and Gamble, that's a triple kill, straight away by Alex Hitch, now on towards Darian, just go repel him, immediately spear lands as well, but Darian, is he really the target? Yeah, they're going to all of them, all the time, across the entire team, Diamond Rock gets straight back on towards him. Peke very, very low here. Diamond Rock's up. Oh, he takes the spear. He's going to have to back out. Here comes the rest. Alex Hitch goes leaping in. Gets one. Kazik's taking him down. Alex Hitch going to leap across. Gets another straight across. They can't quite get onto it. Gets the reset. Oh, he will back across. Yellow Star Valkyrie's away. Whoa. That could have been a multi multi kill for Alex Hitch. That's the war. Head over there. Oh, Kevin's going to go in. It's Kevin. He's dodging once again.
can he get completely caught out? This gets jumped in. Alex is going for the reset. He gets it. He gets one down. Oscott uses that one. He's now going for the SMG Alex. That's the group of goals. Now he's lost the hockey ball. Can he get the top of the No, the jump needs to fail. But the chain of corruption lands. And that's a piercing arrow coming out from Gator. Snipes him down through the wall. Oh, here comes the chain. Super, super aggressive. You see the destiny is coming out. They're gonna try to jump onto Yellow Star. Wild goes immediately put down at him, but he drops so, so low. And so, of course, plus Cyclone comes up. They carry on with the fight, and Gambit Gaming are looking good. They're not losing health here, Gambit. I mean, Darian has gone decently low, but Diamond is still over half HP. Cyanide goes down very quickly. One of the tankiest members of Fnatic. We absolutely destroyed there. So far, Gambit. Oh, here we go. him to repel was used by Darian but the assault and battery comes in and Darian is gonna strike from this one flash away for her cuba here comes Alex from the side he's getting the reset two of them just away double kill triple kill coming out for Alex amazing play the tanking of the turret here Diamond Okay, a crystal ball from this one. Uh, but it will be Sivir nonetheless locked in and there is a Lux pick up for that middle lane Edward has Timo it's the final game here in Lille we're not going to see Timo. No, but that Evelyn pick, Evelyn pick actually excites me a little bit. Alex has played a lot of Evelyn in the past. I think it's that or Kha'Zix. It's going to be their decision between a double AP or the reset assassination call of Kha'Zix. He has another 30 seconds list. Nope, he stopped it. He 